everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the scenery added by the newest update. Well, some of the scenery added. We can see all these exclamation marks and it's filled with new things, but I'm not going to visit all of it. I'll visit things that interest me most, starting with, I think, Kennedy Space Center. And so this is World Update 2. Well, not there. Uh, World Update 2 is focusing on the United States, as you can tell. Uh, and we are going to see some of the things here. I think Kennedy Space Center is interesting. The airport graveyard in Arizona is of interest to me. Um, I removed some of the freeware scenery packages that I had, so especially the Yosemite area, because I had a scenery package for Yosemite. So we'll take a look at how their Yosemite looks now, so that I can decide whether I need the freeware one again or not. So we'll see how that is. And I'll decide from there where we go next. But yes, indeed, I do want Kennedy Space Center as my departure. I deleted all mods except for this plane, the MB-339, and the Drzewiecki uh, Moscow pack. So just to make sure that the update was okay. There were some problems, uh, connectivity problems earlier today. That uh, is Thanksgiving. And yeah. They had issues, but it seems to be resolved now, hopefully. <laughs> they have a long list of things they added. Uh, unfortunately, no Arecibo. Apparently, they didn't think about that. Uh, Puerto Rico is in the United States, <laughs> for those who might be confused about that topic. Um, yeah, so I wish they had added that as part of this update, but not so far. Well, let's just take a quick look at this processing facility area. Oop. Game paused a bit. Uh, this isn't too remarkable, but this isn't... Uh, oh, I guess this is supposed to be the VAB, isn't it? Judging from the crawlaways, yeah, that's supposed to be the VAB. So, they said the visitor center. They didn't say all of the space center. And they still don't have a proper VAB, which... I wish they had thought about. I mean, the fact that they don't have the VAB is sort of... What's even the point, really? Maybe they could work on the pad here. This being 39A. Does not look proper at all. I mean, the other pads sort of look a little bit better. But I think they got the uh, Pad 39A while it was under renovation, rather than its final product. I think that's what's happened here. I think I see the external tank stack. Is that what that is right there? Yeah, I mean, that's very prominent uh, from the roadway coming into the visitor center. I, I swear it's oriented differently. But okay, we do have the Atlantis building and the rocket garden. I thought it was turned a little bit differently, but that's pretty spectacular for the rocket garden. We can see the Titan, all the other rockets there. Let me try and get slower and lower without killing the plane. I guess maybe I was thinking, uh, well, I'm sure they've got it right. Look at that, the Atlas and everything. I know I'm going fast here, but, you know. I'll come around again. I think I can go slower. I think the stall speed for this with flaps down is 90 knots. It's not going to like it, but... <laughs> uh, I, I didn't see the Sat uh, Saturn 1. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, it's there horizontal. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. The visitor center looks okay. I'll take it. But can we have a VAB, please? All right, well, I'm satisfied here that they at least did the visitor center. 
Let's take a look at objective number two, which is the airport graveyard in Tucson. I'm glad they have these exclamation marks on the map. That's good. I don't know. I see a lot of buildings here. Oh, there we go. Oh, they got some planes. But which planes? I'm going a little bit too fast to get a good look at them. Oh, these are transports. Are those C-17s? I'll get flaps down soon and go slower. Those are B-52s. The engine configuration and the relationship between the wing and body. Don't say that. These are more transports. So you're in... I, I think they're 707 style or DC something. Four engines, you know. I mean, there are not too many to choose from. Well, they do have an assortment of planes here. Are these C-130s? Looks like it. Lots of fighters. Those are F-16s, I think, that we just passed over. Some two engines. Certainly an assortment of planes here. Let's uh, go up a bit and get a better scope of the area. I mean, we see a whole bunch of planes here. And I mean, it's a better representation than I was expecting, let me put it that way. So, it's basically this area over here. And then that bit over there. Those are definitely F-16s there. Uh, I, those are A-10s I saw. B-52s like I said. Uh, what are those? I don't know. Are those Broncos? I don't know. Or... Uh, Ah, oh, I've got some lag here. These look like C-130s. Uh, those are Orion's P-3s, I think, or something like that. These strike me as 707s or a variant. Uh, uh, ah, there's too much stuttery in here. It's smoother out, out here than inside the cockpit right now. Well, marginally. These are pretty big. Those are F-16s, though. Oh, God. Ooh, I went through a few. <laughs> I went through a few. I better keep my throttle up. I think I just tested the 90 knot stall speed on this. These have little blocks next to them, bales of hay or something, I don't know. Okay. Well, I think my curiosity is satisfied. Uh, on to Yosemite. Range 3.5 nautical miles, 3.4, 3.3, yep. This is the valley. Oh, that just appeared. I was going, well, that looks really horrible, but that's El Capitan. Um, so it just zoomed in. But yeah, to the right, and actually when I flew in this with the freeware scenery, I was actually more interested in the cliffs to the right than El Capitan to the left, since everybody knew about that. And the stuff on the right needs work. 
so they've uh, done El Capitan as a separate mesh here, and it's it's probably better than the than the freeware one. I would say so. That's better quality than the freeware one. Maybe if the freeware one excluded that, that might be helpful. Uh, but the right side is better with the freeware, I think, and so are the rest of the cliffs. We'll take a look at Half Dome now. Yeah, well, I'm sure that'll correct itself soon. Another thing is its uh, render range is a little bit low. Uh, Half Dome is up there. Obviously, you can see the horrible texture here because it hasn't materialized it yet. Still hasn't materialized it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, still could do with a little bit of work there. But yeah, I just popped in a little bit late. It still uh, looks good. I mean, the model of it and the textures on it look good. It's a tough thing to get right because those textures are vertical, so you can't just use fo uh, photo scenery from up above. But yeah, I think there's still a place for that that freeware photo scenery here. But I don't know how well it's going to mix with this. I'd like these chunks, but uh, to be honest, if the freeware photo scenery does a better job of the rest of the stuff, I don't entirely mind missing the better looking stock half dome and El Capitan. Although, you know, if you don't want that freeware package, this doesn't look bad. I mean, it sort of works. So I'll Capitan from this view. We're going pretty fast here too. Yosemite Village down there. Okay, while we're in California, I want to check out Orville Dam, which is something that they said that they had fixed. They also said they fixed Hoover Dam. I don't. I had flown by Hoover Dam, but I, I don't remember if I thought there were any problems. Maybe. I had done a Grand Canyon run. But I'll trust that they've gotten that. But Orville Dam, I want to see because that hasn't appeared in any other images. So, following the Feather River up, the dam is right here. You can tell. That's Lake Orville there. And this is sort of the overflow lake I guess or whatever you want to call it I forget what it's called actually that's right there uh, I guess uh, that it's sort of a skew but I think that's what that beige thing is right here well we'll see Okay, well, not necessarily the most spectacular thing on the planet, but at least the river was properly shaped and had the right height. Uh, this has the spillway that was sort of famous. And you can see all the switchbacks. There's obvious work that's been done to make this look right. And then the dam itself. Sort of a interesting angle to it. It's tough to discern the angle when your head's straight forward. Sometimes it looks like it's flat to you. Sometimes it looks like it's a uh, different slant. And this is Lake Orville. So, having seen this, one other place I wanted to check out was Washington, D.C. And the reason for that is that there is a Payware Washington, D.C. Landmarks package by Drzwecki. I have gotten Drzwecki's Moscow landmarks and I'm satisfied with that um, 
the Washington DC landmarks uh, package is on sale and so the question is they've they've said that they added certain landmarks to Washington uh, in particular uh, well I guess the critical stuff like the Capitol building and White House and stuff like that so I want to take a look at that Washington Monument Fort Jefferson they say they've done so I want to see whether it's good enough that I don't have to buy the Washington DC package or whether it still looks crappy so let's go over to Washington DC and check out how it looks well I can see Washington Monument <laughs> that's always a good thing We'll keep it slow. Let's get the flaps down. Okay, well, I'm sort of torn about which way to go. Let's go this way. So there's the Washington Monument. Uh, I'm gonna hang a left here. this where's the this isn't the Jefferson this is the Lincoln right gosh I should have brought a map <laughs> some I know very well others I don't I think the Jefferson's a little bit off the line okay obviously do not do this in real life but there's the White House and gardens. I don't know. I think the Zwicky's version might be better. It's not bad though. The Capitol is fine. I don't know, the roofs look a little bit low. This is interesting light for the situation. Let's see, uh, I want to go down the mall here. So, capital, down the mall. That's not right, is it? Is it really a coliseum on the <laughs> or a coliseum shaped thing there? Hmm. Okay. Got that. I thought the Jefferson thing was over here, but that doesn't look like it at all. Well, there's the Pentagon. Yeah, I think, pretty sure this building is supposed to be something, but, okay. Pentagon. Again, this is obviously a sim-only flight path. Well, okay, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much more this wiki adds. I'm sure it looks better, but considering I'm not going to be flying over here constantly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, in default terms, better than any other flight sim, obviously. Okay, well, I think I'll wrap it up here. We've taken a look at some areas. And I'm really causing my MB339 a, a lot of pain. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.